This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Sylvia Perez, Linda Yu, and weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler. This is ABC 7 News at 11. Many of your childhood memories are probably associated with some family meals, mm -hmm. but these days fewer families have time to actually sit down and eat together. Well, Purple Asparagus is a Chicago-based nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing families back to the table. Melissa Graham is the founder, and she joins us here today to tell us more about, I love the name, Purple, Purple Asparagus. <laughs> tell us about, <laughs> right. about the organization. Uh, well, we, um, we are dedicated, as you mentioned, to bringing families back to the table, and we do that by hosting family-friendly events throughout Chicagoland, as well as organizing outreach outreach activities in at-risk communities. So you'll go to certain areas, you might even do some schools. What is Purple Asparagus? That's an actual... That is an actual... Okay. <laughs> is an I don't actual, think I've ever had one of you. Know, when we were trying to figure out what to call ourselves, uh -huh. uh, one of our uh, board members came up with a list of 20 names. A lot of them were very traditional, and the mm -hmm. last one was Purple Asparagus, and, and we just we realized loved it. it. We okay. loved it. Well, you know, when we <laughs> sent it to a, to a nine-year-old, and he burst out giggling, yeah. and crazy. we knew we were that catching our market audience. Yeah, that's you that's what you're all about. You're about making it fun, so mm -hmm. the kids eat healthy, and the family can get involved. So exactly. what have you brought us today? Well, I have brought you the first recipe that we're going to do is peach salsa. And I love this because it's a great educational recipe. Mm -hmm. You get to explain that tomatoes are fruit and like tomatoes, you can use other fruits in a non-dessert setting. Mm -hmm. okay. So what you do is you take a one peach and cut it into half inch pieces. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take a finely chopped green onion, a teaspoon of lime juice, See, anything green would turn off my kids yeah. right now. You know, you know, don't you find that? I, I don't oh, know yeah. why that but is. She has a three-year-old, so she can relate to <laughs> oh, this. Oh, I can. Yes, uh -huh. His standing order for a long time was... Uh, Quesadilla, no green stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Green, ooh. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, so I've taken a, uh, the last thing I put in there was a little bit of cilantro okay. uh, that was finely chopped. When mm -hmm. you can actually have the kids tear it up into little pieces, which mm -hmm. gives them, it, it gives yeah, them the tactile like element of it. Mm -hmm. Now, what I serve this with, you can serve it with chips, but I like to serve it with whole wheat tortilla spikes. Mm, okay. And Did these are, these or? yeah, they are um, whole wheat tortillas uh -huh. that you uh, uh, slice into half inch pieces. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And spray with a little cooking oil. Okay. And We're bake trying. at uh, 400 degrees for um, anywhere mm, really between really 10 good. and 20 minutes. Mm. And, um, you know, it's just... I always think you don't have to dumb down food for kids. Mm -hmm. You just sometimes need to give it a hook, and that hook can be in a catchy name. Okay. And that's exactly the same thing for this next recipe. Mm -hmm. The next recipe I'm going to make, this is a traditional Spanish appetizer called pa am tomake. Pa am tomake. But okay. what I like to call it mm -hmm. is smashed tomato bread. Because okay. what kid like doesn't like to smash yes. things? Let's smash you take a toasted, um, toasted slice of bread, and this is whole grain bread, uh -huh. and you're going to just rub the, the, the garlic, garlic clove. Yeah. Garlic clove in there I so like that you already. get that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a raw, fresh garlic clove. It's a raw, fresh okay. garlic clove. Mm. Just get the essential oils mm -hmm. in there. And then you take the tomato and smash it mm -hmm. into it. And this is a perfect use for that tomato that's been sitting on your counter. And there's so many good tomatoes oh, right now. Too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a variety. I, yes. I have a basket Ooh, over there. I can there. smell that. I love that. And then you just get the juices uh -huh. in there. Okay. And then we're going to uh, drizzle just a little bit of a really good extra virgin olive oil. Okay. What a good idea. Huh? And then coarse sea salt just for a bit of crunch, okay. and it's a perfect summer appetizer. And you eat it just Great. like that? Yep. And how fun to do that with your food. Get your hands oh, yeah. Yeah. Just get your hands, yes. hands dirty. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you is oh, our scary. recipe mm. for, my recipe for um, homemade pizza. And you know what? We have that on our website. And we're out of time because I think a lot of people are going to want to know how to make all these wonderful things. Great what ideas. A, what a great organization yeah. you have. We should let it, everybody know there's an event going on for you guys this weekend, but you can find these recipes and more about purple asparagus at abc7chicago.com, including information about that event if people want to get involved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Thank Very you. good ideas. And there is much more ahead on the news at 11. It's